Hello again, I'm Roddy Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Infrasonic Blow 5 Studio Monitor Speakers. This product comes as a pair and each speaker has a user's manual, stick-on rubber feet and a power cord. Since these are monitor speakers, they are designed differently than other speakers. They are commonly referred to as studio monitors or reference monitors and are meant to be used for audio production applications such as recording, television, film and radio studios. They are designed to produce relatively flat linear phase and frequency responses so the loudspeaker produces accurate sound. Unlike some consumer loudspeakers which are designed to produce pleasing sound by manipulating the frequency response curve of the audio signal they receive. No speaker has a completely flat frequency response but monitor speakers come as close as possible. The blow line are available in a few different models. There is the 4 series which are 55 watts and the 5 series which are 90 watts. Both have a D line as well. The 4D and 5D though differ from the standard models and include a digital interface module. The Blow 5D is a shielded powered near field studio monitor speaker and features a two-way bi-amplifier design to achieve high quality sound. Frequency response is broadened downward by a bass reflex system and broadened upward by a natural silk dome tweeter for delicate signal reproduction. Enclosure design also contributes to the broad frequency response. At the front is a tweeter, woofer and port at the bottom. Also note that their logo is illuminated and acts as a status LED which will flash if there is a problem. At the back is a heat sink to help cool the amplifier which is inside the speaker. There are two panels, one for analog connections and the other for digital connections. The analog panel includes an XLR phone jack as well as a quarter inch TRS phone jack. Here's where you switch between analog and digital. They include a sensitivity adjustment as well as a tilt, room and cutoff control. The digital panel includes an AES EBU jack, source switch and an RCA connector for SPDIF coaxial digital input. There's also a pass through connection so you can connect the other speaker as well as a left and right channel switch. And at the bottom is the power switch and power cord connection. If you're in the market for monitor speakers you probably have a fairly large budget because quality monitor speakers cost a fair amount of money. Some of them can cost over $1,000. So considering that fact this particular product is reasonably priced considering everything that they include and the sound quality that they produce. Overall this product is kick-ass. Until next time, take care.